right, welcome back, baseball fans. I'm back with another grand opening of 1986 Fleer baseball cards. We got about five or six unopened packs, and of course, we're looking for some rookie cards here, including Jose Canseco, Ozzy Guillen, Andres Galarraga, Paul O'Neill, Cecil Fielder, and maybe even a uh, Benito Santiago. But what would be more fun would be opening up a Mickey Hatcher big glove card, which I've only ever seen but never owned before. So let's get cracking. Let's open up the first pack. I forget how many cards are in here, but it is a pretty thick stack. And we're going to start off with the Oakland Athletics flag sticker. And there's Bob McClure with his Milwaukee Brewers. There's my boy George Bell of the Blue Jays. Alejandro Pena. Oh, I saw a big glove there. I thought that might be Mickey Hatcher, but it is not. John Waython, who is, of course, a omen on some other channels. There's Andy Van Slyke, good player in his own right in the late 80s, early 90s with those Pittsburgh Pirates. There's Ozzy Virgil, and the last card is Tim Lawler. Oh, and we've got Bruce Souter. There's our first Hall of Famer to be polled. Be great if we got one or more per pack, and there is a 1986 Fleer checklist. All right, moving on to pack number two. Tearing this baby open, of course, very gently, carefully, saving the wrapper. And let's see if we get a rookie card this time. We're going to start with the San Francisco Giants pennant flag sticker. And there is a New York Yankee, Andre Roberts, Robertson, who I don't remember playing very much in the major leagues when I was following it in the mid-80s. Mark Langston, uh, second year card. Bobby Meacham, another shortstop for the Yankees. There's Teddy Huguera, checklist, and there's Raleigh Fingers, second Hall of Famer pulled. Love the handlebars there for his mustache. Thought that was really cool growing up and seeing uh, pictures and cards of him like that. Willie Hernandez, who I think won the Cy Young in 19, oh, he won 1984, didn't he? There's Pete Rose, oh, dropped Pete Rose, but there's a Pete Rose card, sharing that with uh, Dwight Gooden. Part of the like little subset within this much larger set. So three packs, three Hall of Famers. Scott McGregor, Billy Sample, Jim Sundberg, who hit that uh, triple against the Blue Jays back in 1985 in game, game five. And there is Gary Carter, uh, who passed away, of course, about 10 years ago, uh, but not before joining the Hall of Fame. And here's our next pack. I've already lost count how many packs I've opened up. This might be actually number three, because there is the Minnesota Twins pennant sticker. And there's Mike Steinhaus, outfielder for those Twins. Eric Show, Joe Cowley, who, hit a, who pitched a no-hitter once. And there's Robin Yount. I love it. that the, Almost like every pack is guaranteed a Hall of Famer. But of course, that isn't the case. There's Robin Yount. We'll put him down there on our table. Look at uh, Andy McGaffigan, the pitcher there, laying down a bunt. Tito Landrum. Lance Parrish, who was a great catcher in his own right in the 1980s. Uh, Dennis Lamp for the Blue Jays. Bruce Benedict, who I think looks a lot like uh, Dale Murphy in that, in that uh, photo. And there's another uh, shortstop from a New York team. There's Rafael Santana for the Mets. Next pack. So this whole set's not really worth uh, a lot. It's about worth, I think you can get it for like $30 or $40 online. Um, you know, because it doesn't, it has a lot of rookie cards, but, uh, you know, Canseco and Fielder and O'Neill, they're all not in the Hall of Fame. But Jack Morris is, let's put him on the table. There you go, our Tigers starting pitcher from the 19, uh, 1980s. Then he went on to the Twins and the Blue Jays and I actually forget where he went after the Blue Jays. Did he go to Minnesota? I'm not too sure. And there's Cal Ripken. Now, every time you get a Cal Ripken card, you sort of like have to smile and be thankful. Uh, all his cards are great. Great looking cards. There he is in this orange and black. There's Jody Davis, Ed Vandenberg, Toby Hara. Who of course, you can spell his name uh, left to right or right to left, and it still spells Hara. Carney Lansford. 
We've got uh, some prospects or something here card. Uh, Billy Joe Robido. We got Neil Allen uh, when he was playing and not suspended. And there's Ricky Henderson. Wow, to get Ricky Henderson and Cal Ripken in the same pack is pretty special. Two very, very popular players in their in their time and even after their playing days. Lots of people go ahead and they uh, PC either one of those stars. And why not? They were phenomenal players. Next pack might be our last one here. Oh, I got one more after this. So second to last pack, we got the Baltimore O's pennant sticker. So we've had a different one every time we've opened up a pack. There, oh, another big glove. Dave Stewart, Randy O'Neill, Jeff Stone. Looks like uh, there's Tim Raines and Daryl Strawberry. Instant offense, one with power, one with speed. And we've got uh, a few other players who just barely, you know, etched out a career, a short career, or uh, not a very, you know, with regards to war, not very impressive careers. Jose Uribe and Frank Viola will finish off that pack. And we're down to the last one. I've got space left for either a rookie card or another Hall of Famer. Let's see if I can pull a rookie card from this last wax pack of 1986. Clear, isn't this 86 or 87? I believe it's 86. And we're going to start with the New York Yankees pennant. And we got uh, a pitcher there for the Padres, outfielder for the Brewers. There's Tony Fernandez. Great shortstop, the best shortstop ever to play for the Blue Jays up here in Toronto. And we've got Hal McRae, not a Hall of Famer. Oh, there's Don Sutton. He'll go into our pile. So now we've got an even 10 Hall of Famers on the table. There's Vince Coleman. Ah, Pat Clements. We've got a Philadelphia Philly, Lenny Dykstra. No, he's not yet. Didn't play for the the Phillies yet. And we've got a Boston Red Sox, uh, Jim Rice. No, oh, Detroit Tiger, Nelson Simmons. And second to last card is going to be, and uh, there's a Philly. Don't recognize him. Rick Shue, third baseman. And the last card will be a Brave. That would be Zane Smith to finish off the opening of 1986 Fleer Baseball. So there you have it. There are my 10 Hall of Famers. So on average, about one and a half Hall of Famers per pack. There's Ricky Henderson, Gary Carter, Bruce Suter, Raleigh Fingers, Jack Morris, Cal Ripken Jr., Robin Yount, Charlie Hustle, Pete Rose. We got Tim Raines, and the last but not least, Don Sutton. So I think I did pretty well. Not disappointed. Uh, would have preferred one or two rookie cards, but can't have them all. So thanks very much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos coming up and enjoy your week.